Hi everyone, this is Evan Rubin at the Language Acquisition Resource Center. And this short tutorial is going to show you how to use Poll Everywhere, a great program to bring mobile devices into your language classroom, or any classroom at that matter. And uh, you can use your mobile device uh, to provide instant feedback or do these fun polls. So let's take a look at some of the settings and how to create a poll and uh, get yourself organized. So first you need to sign up or, or log in. I'm going to log in. I already have an account. And the first page I'm going to look at is my polls page where you can see I have a bunch of polls already created and grouped in two different groupings. One Spanish demo and one general presentation questions. And I'll show you how to create these groups. But first we need to create a poll. So at the top left we're going to go to create new poll. I'm going to put in a question. What is your favorite color? And now I'm going to click on this little bar graph icon here. And it's going to automatically create the question into a free text question. If you want the students to text in the answers freely, uh, you can leave it as it is. But I want to make it multiple choice, so I'm going to cl click over here, convert to multiple choice and I'm going to put in different options and I'll just press add here maybe one more and add if uh, there's something I don't like I can press the minus to remove it and I'm going to press continue now from here I basically am I can use this right now in my classroom you can see that this 37607 will be the phone number and the code to vote, what you will put in the message body, um, will be one of these numbers here. So let's look at some of the options, some of the settings. Here at the top right, this little gear, the visual settings, I can uh, change the look and feel of my poll. I like that one, cool. Uh, perhaps I want each cell phone to be able to vote multiple times. Well, if I go up to edit, you'll see I can change this to three times maybe people the students are working in groups of two or three and you want each person to have their own vote um, so you can change that here or as much as they like I'm gonna save the poll and let's look at a few of the other options here um, how can people respond People can respond on their mobile devices uh, if they have internet access uh, with a code you can create here. If you use Twitter in the class, that's another way. Or a private link. I want to use only text messages today, for example. Um, you can share it in different ways. You can create a, a link. You can put it in your blog or your learning management system. You can tweet it, Facebook, email, Prezi. All of these different ways to distribute the poll. Um, if you attended one of my presentations, I put the poll in a PowerPoint and it's very easy. All I need to do is just download the PowerPoint slide right here on the right slide and it will put it right in a slide for you to use in your PowerPoint presentation. Okay, let's go back to my polls. So we can see we have our question here. I'm going to create one more. I'll create this a free text. Uh, what is your favorite animal? and I'm gonna press the bar icon here it's a free text question and I'll just continue and let's uh, make it look a little prettier maybe this nice black one and close this and that's all I want to do so let's uh, go back to let's go back to my polls and you can see the two new ones are right here so now I'm going to click these and create a group right up here at the top. And I'm going to edit the new group name. I'll call it uh, Sample 1. And I'll save it. So now um, I showed you before in that poll description, you can download the PowerPoint. You can also download it by clicking here and download the PowerPoint. And the last thing I want to show you is if you uh, roll over the Sample 1, I can enable the session. And if you read these instructions, it will allow you to group these questions. And, it, and um, when you look at the poll, you'll see that the instructions change and students will be able to vote even quicker. So I hope this helps. Please email me.